Don't you ever get the feeling when, like, you're like, oh, I want to paint this room. I think I can do it. Uh huh. And then, like, one wall in, mm -hmm. you're like, why didn't I just hire someone? This is the way I do it. I, it I will is like hard. So my wife and I. Be That's like, what she said. Let Sorry. <laughs> So my guest today is Jaina Lee Ortiz Hi. from Station 19, uh, which uh, six seasons. Six seasons. And last night was the rap party, mm -hmm. and <laughs> Shane was there. Shane keeps telling me he's the star of the show. We'll, we'll get to that I in a little I bit. Know. I know. But <laughs> I'm thinking about this. Like you just shot how many episodes? Like this season? of this season. Of this season, 18. 18. Yeah. And the rap party was last night. Yeah. And I imagine you were just going like, man. The day after my rap party, <laughs> I hope I can be on a stupid podcast. <laughs> I was hoping to be doing absolutely nothing, <laughs> si sitting in bed, yeah. watching yeah. Netflix. I don't yeah. know, just. But I'm glad I'm here. Okay, good. No, it's nice and, to. Well, we yes, get to have a cheers. beer together. So and this is cheers. actually nice. Okay. I, I. Mm. Well, wait I'm till we get to the craft part a beer of it, girl. Okay, so here, here's the thing. This is crafts and crafts, and we drink craft beer. Okay. They're, that noise is them yeah, making yeah. craft beer. That's how fresh it is. I was going to say sound, sound. Yeah, it's, no, it's okay? fine. Airplanes and things, okay. things will happen, yeah. <laughs> um, and so I like to tailor make the craft to the guest. Ooh. And so I was trying to figure out what, what to do um, because, uh, well, here, I'll just show you what I did. Okay. No, there's a quick story behind it. Okay. <laughs> uh, as I release the air from the room. Um, so I was in uh, Tahoe last week. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to be there until Saturday. And on Wednesday, I get a call from, my wife gets a call from the pet sitter. One of our cats, we have an animal rescue, so we have a lot of animals. So one of our cats, who is uh, partially blind, uh, mm -hmm. got out. And she couldn't find, and she looked for oh. 24 hours and so just told us. So mm -hmm. this was about 11 o'clock at night. We're walking her through the whole house, make sure she's not in the house. She wasn't, and so she, she wasn't, she's not very athletic. I needed someone to go up on the roof. So I called Shane at midnight. Oh, and you called Shane? Uh-huh. That's awesome. Because he's not that athletic? <laughs> no, <I'm> just, <laughs> I just don't imagine Shane Hartline the type of person to be like excited about crawling on a roof. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> he, he wasn't, he wasn't because he's like, I mean, I don't know, man, like what are your neighbors gonna think? They get up there, I'm like, just get up there. So he did, he climbed up there mm. and the cat was not there. And we found the evidence because I have a, a tin roof, mm. like a metal roof. And you could see that the cat like got onto it and then just slid and fell off on, oh. onto the grass. So anyway, the next morning I set the alarm for four, drove back and looked for the cat all day, did not find it. Oh. Looked the entire next day, did not find it. Flyered mm. the neighborhood, everything at five o'clock, found the cat next door. And so the Aww. issue is, is that I was in not a good headspace and I didn't like, I was trying to find um, like wooden fire trucks for us to paint, like little fire trucks and we could Aww, paint them. Cute. I know, yeah. I know. So I didn't have time to do it. If I ordered them, they would arrive uh, late. So I had to make them. What? So I had to make little wooden fire trucks. And I, I think that I, I didn't quite like, so, this is this oh. is one of them so to paint it, but this one I'm not really happy. It's, looks like I did it with like a like a dinner knife. It's not. That's actually pretty. You know what? This, this is, is great. You're being very nice. Yeah, but this is great. Yours is the actual fire truck from oh. your show. Oh. So I don't know See, enough think, about it. So th this is the engine, and that's the ladder. This is. This yeah. is the ladder truck. And okay. This is the engine. So you do know a yeah. lot about. Well, not a lot, but I believe. Yeah, this would be the latter one. So which one do you want to paint? I think you should paint that one. Really? This is like the child's one. Or okay. I can paint that for you. Okay, this is nice. Oh, I'm not good with this stuff. Okay, let's okay. do it. You do, you do that. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. Okay, so. I'm, I'm not a painter. I'm not. You're an artist. You're a dancer. I mean, you're an actor. You are. Actor. I, well, I was trying to, I was going to say actress, but I don't think I you know. say that anymore. So I changed I mean, mid-word. Yeah. Mid what do you say? I don't know because everyone says something Actuary? different. Actress, actor, actor. Well, I don't know. I feel like if you I, want to be taken seriously, you would say I'm an actor. I think it's weird that it's like the the award for like best actor goes right. to a man, and then it's like oh, and then an actress. Right. Because 
it's interesting because technically well, they should be competing did, did against each other. Did you hear that they're probably going to change it to performer? Really? Best performer, and it'll be who Emmys any or gender. Oscars? I don't know for Everybody? sure, but I think Oscars. At the end, it'll just be one Emmys. award. You know, what it'll be it'll be everyone gets an award. <laughs> You know what, Just you guys <laughs> right, all worked really hard. Right. Everyone wins. That's kind right. of what we're heading towards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our paints here. The, Love it. The, Excited. The, gold, I, the white ones, I don't think are very good. I got them last week, and then I changed them okay. up to the gold to the gold topped ones. Okay. These are a little bit better. And then these ones might be better than that. Uh, and there's red. So this is your palette. Okay. And you're going to put okay. the Okay. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, you I get feel to like put the paints on there. We're like doing a Bob Ross situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it could be whatever. Yeah. What are you? What are you? What are you thinking? I don't know. Can I? Should I put? Should I pull up a phone? I, I, yeah. You can do that if you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So if you want to pull up, I pulled up a, oh, a yeah. fire truck from your show to make that one. Okay. Um, and then this was one that I did before, and I I think this is more of like something a child would have. No, 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 no. That. So you're that gonna pull great. up like just fire truck. What color is Station 19? What, what's their color? Is it red? It's red. With white and some yellow okay. thrown in there. Okay. Are most fire trucks the same color? First of all, no one can hear you, hear you if you're off camera. You want to come in I here, so. you can talk to this microphone, and we can hear you. I'm looking up fire truck ladders to see what comes up. He thinks that all fire trucks are the same color. <laughs> I think so. No. No, I've seen blue. I've seen neon well, green. Are you America, shaking your head? Blue? Yeah, I've seen bl a blue. If I, if I could well, in the, in, in the United States, our... Well, that's, okay, that, you know first, first of all, that that's, would a, that's be a, a good, good call. question. Never seen a blue fire truck. Blue fire truck. No, I think it's all. They're all red. They're all red and white, with a little yellow. Well, that's, that's just like standard. What is that? Oh. That's like a, a zebra. <laughs> and you're thinking this is probably like this overseas is, or something? Uh, no, yeah, I'm thinking. So. Yeah. What is that though? The USA flag. Oh, that's so weird. That is I've the, never seen that. The Ki it's no, called, the standard is red. Yeah, but it's called the Kaiser Fire District. But Not it has right. a US flag behind it, but it's blue. Kaiser, Kaiser yes. <laughs> Kaiser. Okay, well. Um, okay, so so red. So red. I didn't know Shane was going to be yellow. so upset. <laughs> so apparently I'm painting mine red, too. Okay, let me get a get a good picture. Oh, you're already starting. Gosh. No, there's there's um, no there's no rush. This is interesting. My, this is kind of... This I'm is more so, of a crimson. This is when my perfectionist kicks in and I Are hate you looking it. up uh, a truck from your show no. or just in general? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just do let's just do I, I typed station. in station nineteen. It didn't bring up a lot of them, so I had to go and find out the type of fire truck that you guys oh, use. Oh, here we go. Hold for plane. I'm just kidding, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. This is a good picture. What do you think? Oh my god, it actually says ladder nineteen, but it's Pasco County Fire Rescue. That's not bad, right? Do you think you can pull that off? Yeah. On here? Yeah. With the stripe? I'll try. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, okay. This is fun. So, okay. Um, I gotta. Scooch. What's the guy? What's I should know this. Yeah, the guy. What's the guy's name? Jason on your show. Jason, Jason, Jason George. George. Jason George. Um, he's a very nice man. Red. Uh huh. Um, Wonderful. Love him. My my wife, when I mentioned that you were coming on, and she knows that he's on the show, she. She melted. I've never seen her with a, any, anyone before, and she. So, she, so I have like a comfort show. You do? Which? I, what is it? Tell me. So please. my my comfort show is The Office. It's just okay. It's just always oh my in the God, background. I love you so and just doing much. Their thing. I could watch The Office all day, I every loop. day. I, I, I don't loop. care what season, yep. what episode. Yep. It brings me so much. I mean, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes, yes. See? Yes. Good. I uh, I I was so sad when Netflix. Or I guess NBC mm. or I don't know. The Office was removed from Netflix and yes. put. Yes. Now it's on, on Peacock. Pe so I so that now I do I subscribe to Peacock so I can do it. And now wow. they have the Superfan episodes, which is like what they did was they overshot and they would cut it down to their 22 or 24 minutes. And now it's it's the it's the sometimes it's 26 to 28 minutes long. It's extra oh stuff. My gosh. Yeah, tell me, it's new stuff. Uh, tell me one of your favorite episodes was the um, the fire alarm. The fire the alarm fire? Um, is was amazing, and the uh, the when he finds the the joint, the marijuana joint, <laughs> he's interrogating everybody. <laughs> so we're trying to get Br uh, Brian uh, Baumgartner. Oh. Bri Brian, we're trying to get you on the show. Can you tell you, him into this camera he should do it? Brian. Yeah. Brian, you should. You need to come. Yeah. ASAP. Done. It needs to Done. happen. 
Well, Kevin <laughs> it's from the office, yeah, Kevin. but Brian Kevin. and Relax. <laughs> they are the same. Pers every character, er every story, I mean. So well casted. And it's so crazy because, like, you would never, nowadays, you would never write or even think of half the, most of the things, most of what the episode or what the series is, you would never, it would never exist today. Meaning they just couldn't get away with it? Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. I also think you're but trying so to ridiculous. avoid Oh, you're actually painting. doing See, I don't, I can't multitask. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's happening. I got so excited with The Office. Well, my gosh. But here's the thing. My wife's comfort show is Grey's Anatomy. Get out. Yeah. And I think it, it's kind of like it's it's just her thing. Oh my God. And I think that I've watched You mean a napkin? Yeah, 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 I don't know why what it. Um and so um yes, yeah, she's watched it. I she just watches it and then goes back and watches it again. And I so, love that. And My, so uh -huh. your show is My, a, is a we call it a spinoff. Right, it's a spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. And I know that you were on a few uh, episodes. Mm -hmm. And were you on a few episodes that became Station 19? Or did you book Station 19 and they said, we want to introduce you with these? Exactly. Okay. That's exactly what happened. Um, and so you got came to out go first. on there and and basically just start to yes uh, oh and then gosh. you this and then so you hard. took some people as well right right um jason george was cast first mm -hmm. and then they can i'm doing such a terrible job no you're doing a very to, good job at trying to talk and but one of the things you'll have to do is called cutting cutting yeah because you're painting a line like that and so now you have to go in and you have to paint on the other side of that line like like that when you paint in the red. Yeah, so I'll cut in the red. Mm -hmm. But you could also just paint the red over it? and then paint the yellow over it once it dries because it dries pretty oh. quick. But it's up to you. Oh, see, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, so my current. Okay, we'll get back to. I know you have. I know you have some more questions. No, wait, I, you, my pl please. My current comfort show right yeah. now is Abbott Elementary. It's on ABC, and I never thought that I would. I don't know what that is. Abbott, Abbott Elementary? Elementary? No. Oh my God. What is it? Oh my God. Is it a so, comedy? Uh, it is. It's almost like the, it's a, it's like the office, okay. but at a school. I put Do Not Disturb and, you know. Who is it? So is it sorry. Shane? It's my friend Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, 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 what are you doing? It, it has a very much the office feel. Okay. Which I love, but it's about um, this school in Phil Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Okay. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Quince, Quinta uh, Brunson. See, my names, I, I'm horrible with, I don't know how I remember lines. I suck. But like. How do you remember lines? I don't. I don't, I don't know how I memorize. Is she bad with lines? You've seen her in action. She's probably not. I don't know what she's talking about. This is, this is really hard. Ugh. That's what she said. I that mean, was an office I mean, thing. no one can, Steve Carell, you just can't, I mean. I can't, so mine wasn't, okay. Uh, Shane, just, edit that out? It ne no, no, keep it. Because I always say it to my friends, and they're sick of me saying that's what she said. <laughs> like, oh, God, Jaina, again. I love it. I'm obsessed. Okay. Um, can so, you help me? So can, <laughs> what happened? Here, I got you. Actually, never mind. It's you it? Thank you. Yeah. Now, that's oh, Matt. Is, that's Matt color. And this is not red, red. Like No, I would use this one. Okay, Do thank you like you. this? I'm so sorry, I wasted that. No, it's it's fine. There's a, these were less than a dollar a piece. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. What's what is with these sound effects? <laughs> okay. Did, here we did go. not expect that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Is this fun? Um, okay. So. I feel like a kid again. Can we talk about uh, how the Station 19 came about for you? So okay. Um, I don't think I've ever said this um like in public but right after my first show rosewood see i'm cutting right now now i'm cutting which yeah is like yeah really yeah hard. let's see all it. right wow that is all right here we go you're doing a good cutting job okay so right after my show rosewood um i get this i don't know because that went for that went for two seasons to, like, right yes rosewood one um for two seasons you with Morris a, Chestnut, I freaking love him. Lieutenant. Played a, a detective, detective, a homicide detective. So much fun. Shout out to Morris Chestnut, he's the best. Mm -hmm. um, but then um, ABC, ABC calls. Yeah, I got a call from ABC, that doesn't happen. But my, my reps end up telling me, hey, 
You got this, um, I guess part of me doesn't like to say that it's, it was, it was my first offer, essentially, which. That's awesome. Never, I yeah. mean, so I was just, uh, I didn't know, I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what the process was. All I know was like, oh my gosh, wait, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. I'm still to this day, I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of, of putting myself on, oh, auditioning and like working mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the type that's like, I don't want to be given, I don't want it to be given to me. I want to earn it. Okay. I want to make sure that I, I put the work in to, and to prove To be clear, myself. when you do get an offer, it's because you've earned it. Yeah, I guess. But I, I you know, <laughs> but, at that but, time, but I was I like, oh my gosh. But I appreciate the humility of it. Oh yes. my gosh. And so, um, at that, in that moment, they had no idea what the show was called. Oh, wow. They, um, they just knew, and all I knew as well, that it was the spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Which, by the way, has gone for 19 Ever. seasons? Tw they're on their 20th. 20th season. Yes. Got it. And so I was just thrilled at the time. I was like, oh my gosh, Shonda Rhimes wants, yes, yes, anything for Shonda Rhimes. Yes. And so that's how it happened. And are they always um, 18 episode seasons? No, the first season was 10. Oh. And then we gradually went up to 16 and the most we've ever done was 18. So. Which was the last season. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And then, so. You're good. So you, you do this all the time? Like, did you do this all the time? All I've done is put on like, just a top coat, but I appreciate you. Wow, um, you're like a acknowledging professional. Acknowledging my prowess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Prowess. yeah. I'm just going to probably do that too. So. Because I'll never get done. Um, you did a movie. What was the movie? What are you, what are you doing? Now you're going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were yeah, all dainty I'm, for a second. Now you're going nuts. You're trying to catch up I'm to trying me? To, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just feel like I'm. A little behind. Those are like Bob Ross types. Oh, type I of love. Strokes. I mean, watching Bob Ross when I was a kid, I, it, it was the most soothing thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how satisfied I would be with when, just the, the sound, the ASM. I didn't even know that was a thing. But when I watched ASMR? when I watched Bob Ross live, he was live. You just watched him pre-recorded. <laughs> That's probably right. That's probably right. I was born in the eighties. Okay, <laughs> yeah. fine. Um, but yes, what were we saying? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you know oh I'm yes, you, you did a movie. Righteous, yes, Righteous Thieves. Righteous Thieves. And you had, it was a very physical role. The first role that I ever did my own stunts, and probably the last. <laughs> wait, 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 you, you didn't have a stunt person? No. But oh. I, that was by choice. I wanted to. I wanted to push myself. Yeah, I saw some I of those moves. I thought I was pretending I was like the, the female Tom Cruise, and I was like, nope, that's not, that's not for me. Did you get that hurt? Is a little bit. A little bit? But you're... After like the, the eighth take of me... Um, oh. On, you know, I, I basically was my back banged against uh, the table, yeah. a desk. Yeah. And so I was, I was ready. Were you wearing a brace? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. By the way, when you do your own stunts, you can still like dress like a stunt person. Yeah, but you you know, when you're doing an indie and everyone's, see now I'm not even, when you're doing an indie. Are you finding it difficult to paint and talk? Yes, okay. very much. Okay, that's but, perfect. But, but no, I'm going to, this is what's going to make the painting even more exciting. Yeah. Because it's. I have to say, I'm already just like very impressed with your approach to this. <laughs> You've never painted before? Well, I mean. Rooms? Oh, you know what? Don't you ever get the feeling when, like, you're like, oh, I want to paint this room. I think I can do it. Uh huh. And then, like, one wall in, mm -hmm. you're like, why didn't I just hire someone? This is the way I do it. I, I it will is like hard. So my wife and I'll be That's like, what she said. Le Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Stop. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting hot. All right, okay. here we go, here we go. So, Serious, yes. focused. I'll say that's my wife. She'll be like, let's get this room painted. I'm like, honey, we can just paint it. It's four walls. And what you do is, you just get the roll around, you go boom, boom, boom. And you're just like, look how big of a spot I just covered. You painted your phone. Yep. And you're like, that's all right. we have to do Love is just it. do that multiple times. But then when you start going in and cutting like this, right. then right. you're like, it drives you nuts. And it you takes all You know what drives me nuts too? Day. The tape, the tape drives me nuts. Yes, yes, the tape. I don't know why I'm doing the wheels when the wheels are going to be black. No, I think, no, see, that's smart, because now you put the black on top of it. And it'll be darker? It's perfect, it's perfect. Um, so, have you taken any, um, like, 
firefighting training? Uh, a little bit, yes. When we first um, when we first were all cast, we went through like all the physical training. Really? But it was the physical part as well as the like the classroom part. No, just the physical part. Okay. But I mean, I even saw like you just posted something on your social media where you you show how you're putting on your your uniform and all of your oh, equipment. Oh yes. But like you, I mean, you you know what everything does. Right. Pretty much. Have you ever had to use? However, okay. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I won't. Like I where was you were going say, better. However, in an emergency, I am the flight. I'm not the fight. Okay. So, I, so that's I'm, my question. I'm the. Have you panic ever? Panic and run. Okay. So you haven't ever had to use your. Okay. I lie. I take that back because one time, um, I was shooting um, a movie. <laughs> I'll just plug it in. Uh, it's called The Long Game, and I shot that movie in Colombia. Wow. And a fire had broke out from a heating lamp. We were sitting outside of a restaurant and I was like the coolest chick. Just, I got up, everything's gonna be okay. Like, and the waiter freaked out. And I was like, I think that composure came from the experience of being on the show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, 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 you ever around real fire? Like, I don't know the situations. No, well, in the beginning, yes. We were just burning everything. And what, and what Dangerous. now, now it's CGI? And now CGI? it's all CGI, Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Is that because yeah, technology yeah, yeah, yeah. has improved? Um, that and a combination of we were probably inhaling a bunch of chemicals. Oh, wow. that okay. <laughs> yeah, that situation. Do you know but if like has the has the budget honest. changed to be able to like do those things when a show becomes successful? Is, is it given like a, a better budget to do those things? I, th I think so. I don't you know, I don't really know. I'm trying to decide if what's what's more expensive, the CG or the real fire. Mm. Um, wow, that is a so good question. It's, it's interesting. So I had this question. I wrote it down. I was like, no, I can't really ask you. So I'll okay. explain why. It's okay. Because I've had to dial 911 four times that I can think of. What? And so I was going to be like, oh, have you ever had to dial? But then I realized, well, sometimes when people have to dial it, it's not like, like none of mine were like what? life threatening. Well, what, did, what, what did you Okay. Have? So I wrote them down. Jeez. One was the first one, I was in Phoenix, Arizona. And my buddy's like, come look at this new apartment building these people redid. And I was looking at, looking through the windows. Mm -hmm. And then I was looking through this window and I was overcome with this smell. And then I realized that it was the manager's office that the manager wasn't alive anymore. So I call, called 911. I don't oh know what else God. to call. Because I don't know the number two, because he's clearly not savable. And then they opened the door and then I was back on the street. I was back as far as that wall is and they opened the door and you were hit with it and the guy that opened the door, he was like a fireman, he just, he vomited. Sorry, it's not a very good story. Oh my God. I mean, it's an interesting story, but it's not a happy story. Right. And then right. the next okay. time was when a transformer behind my um, house, not like the robot. Transformer? Like the electrical, these things up on top of the, you know, the, okay. the telephone poles. Okay. One of those caught fire. <gasps> and, and so I called 911 because I didn't, are you taking my I'm, black? I'm, All right, I'm that's fine. Stealing. That's okay. That's I'm stealing okay. some of your pain. Uh, and then another time was um, this is this was stupid. I was in. I thought I, I didn't think it was stupid at the time. I was in Palm Springs. You're great. What? Thank you so much. What was at the time the Ritz Carlton? <gasps> oh. And I don't think it is anymore. And <laughs> it's fancy. And I saw on the hill. This is in the middle of the summer. And I saw on the hill. In Palm Springs. In Palm Springs. I saw about a mile away, I saw a smoke in the, de in the desert, like a, like, a, like a hill, like no buildings on it, just oh, like no. whatever. And I was like, is, this is the desert in like July and it could get out of control very quickly. So yeah. I don't know what to do. So I call 911 and I don't realize that when you do that, not only are you directed to 911, but the hotel is also alerted that 911 has been called from a certain room. Oh. And so these security guards come down with all these people and like medical supplies. And, and oh, then when I told goodness. them what I did, they were like very upset with me. I was like, what, what were you guys doing that was so much more important than this? They were upset that you called 911 they because were you that, saw something? Yeah, they thought that what I had called 911 for was no reason to have called it. <gasps> The, and they, they, so they were they were like literally upset that there was not an injured person in the room that they could deal with. Wow. So wow. and then when's the last time? Oh, and then and wow. then I was sitting on my front deck and my neighbor, she's an elderly woman. She walked across the street and she tripped and she fell 
and she hit her head and she got knocked out. So oh, I shit. so I called 911 as I ran out there. Oh. So, I don't know. I don't that's great. No, but that's good. I, it, is, it is good. The but... one time I called 911 was when uh, I used to live on the west side or West LA. Mm -hmm. I was in an apartment building and the there was a there was a noise. There was a, a woman who yelled and it sounded oh. like she was being beaten. Okay. And I I I called 911 because I was like, "Oh my god, this I have to call I have to save her." Yeah. This girl you is You hear going all to these die. things about people not doing things right. and then afterwards being like, "Why didn't you just do this?" Yeah. And then I called 911 and they were like, "Can you please hold?" <laughs> okay. And I was holding for like 20 minutes. Stop it, really? No, I'm not 20 minutes, but it was just uh it, it took forever to uh -huh. get to the operator who you know, eventually had to say, how can I help you? Okay. It's like, why is that? And that only, is it only in LA? I, I think, by the way, I, I had seen this guy driving uh, erratically. So I can call it again. So this is five times that I've called 911. Oh my God. And I thought it was only, okay. Five no, times. I'm, no, I'm realizing another one. Cause this guy was driving crazy. And I mm -hmm. just thought maybe he was drunk or something like that. It was the middle of the day. And, and I was like, this is crazy. I, I got to call 911. And I called and I was on hold for like four, six minutes before I just said, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. This is dumb. yeah that's the and then I started to think about like, I don't know what, what is 911 going to do about it? But I feel like I should just like, he was, he was going to like hurt somebody. So anyway, oh my gosh, the, uh, I will a, tell a you a fire related thing that happened last night. Yeah. Wait, I had was an it, accident. Was it, was it Shane accident. who got fired? No, I, I left a candle on burning in my house for, for 15 hours. While you were at the rap party for a show I about know. fire, I know, <laughs> wow. I know, I know. Wow. But I was really upset at myself. Well, I'm going to tell you something that should make you feel better about that. Fifteen hours. Fifteen hours. Yeah, but first of all, it's a <laughs> candle. What's it going to do? It's just it's yeah, pretty self-contained. You know. Have you ever had a candle like while you were home turn into something That's else? That's true, but I've never burned a candle for fifteen hours. I'm just impressed you got to find a candle that can and burn for 15 hours. And still in the house, you know. Was it scented? Yes, but I had the window cracked so right next to it. So it didn't smell amazing so when you got home? So it wasn't like, I was like, ooh, why is it so cold in this room? Ooh, what's that glow? Oh, the candle that had been burning for what 15 hours. What was the scent? I'd rather judge you on that, if you don't mind. It was a free candle I was given when I went to London for Christmas. Okay. And they we, gave like a free candle. We for were going to talk about London, so let's get into it. Oh, really? Yeah. Because... Here's the thing, you and I, we met before, but you don't remember. Um, we did? <laughs> no, we didn't. Stop. He's lying. No, at the, what was it called? The happy, hour show. happy Hour Show, where he did like the improv and he did wrestling and stuff, and you went up and then you guys did a scene together. And like. Well, you were in, you were in and it? I was not in, I was in the audience. Okay. And then afterwards, I, I went and met, I think, I think I was meeting Gabby for the first time, oh, and I met you, okay, and I was okay, like, okay. hi, you did this to me. You did <gasps> this, you go like this, you go, hello. No, I did not. No, you did it. You oh did my it. God, I was gonna say, that is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> if I ever do that, Shane. I was like, hi, and you're like, you just grabbed a pen that I was holding, you just signed oh something in the direction. No. I was like, all right, well, I guess this is how we're doing it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, I never no, you know what's person. funny is that, you know what's funny? Mm. You. Yeah, you were very funny in that in that thing. Thank I was you. I was very impressed. Appreciate that. Um, okay, so okay. I guess we'll, we'll start the question like this. I don't, I don't know where the answer is going to go. Okay. Well, how about this? This way, <laughs> you're on you're on hiatus right now. Yes. Until when? Well, we don't know because oh, yes. there may be a if there if there if the, if it gets picked up again. Uh, no, but there also may be a writer strike. So, oh, got so, it. If and when we do just, come back. This means a longer vacation for you. A lot. Traditionally, you know, how long would you get off? Two and a half months. Okay. What, what did you do last year? Is that when you shot uh, Righteous Kill? Righteous Thieves was shot Righteous Thieves? during the pandemic. Okay. And I remember that was also the su right after shooting that movie. That was the summer that I got COVID. You got COVID? Yeah. And the first week of... Season five production. You have it now? No, 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 no. I've had it twice. I actually had it in London when I went for Christmas. I really? I didn't even know. I had it. Uh, I did 130 stand up shows in 2021, right? That's when I got it, 2021, the last day of whatever. When, when I got COVID, yeah. And so I had a mm -hmm. show on December 18th, and I went on stage 
did the show. It was a sold out, like 250 people, amazing show. I was a little tired, but I just had like a Red Bull. I needed like yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then I did yeah. the show and it was amazing afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, said thank you to everybody. Yep, yep, yep. And I went back to the green room and I was like, in an instant, I was like, I don't feel right. And I laid down on the on the floor and in, in an instant and I just started to have the chills. <gasps> and then I and then Nick brought me home, like from San Diego to LA. He drove home, I don't remember it. And oh I do remember God. I wasn't wearing a mask. And then <laughs> and then I gave it to Nick. Wow. So you had it in London? I had it in London. And that was my second time getting it. Is um I was pissed. So during your hiatus last summer, did you go anywhere? Yes, I went to, um, I traveled for the first time in a long time. To Greece? To Greece. That, I went to Greece. Is that stalker? Of, <laughs> I, I was, did my it research, was, it was, bro. It was semi-stalker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I was, my, my dream was to finally get some traveling because yeah. for most, so, uh, okay, so I grew up. Um, in the Bronx, New York, mm -hmm. and I started off as a professional salsa dancer, and through dance, wow, you're doing such a great job. Thank you. Um, through dance, I was able to travel as a teenager. I mean, I remember being in high school and spending the weekend in Switzerland, and then coming back and doing like the morning announcements for student council. Wow. I would be traveling, so I traveled to Europe, I went to Japan, I went to a bunch of different places as a teenager. And then when I moved to LA, were you I acting kinda, then? No, I was just dancing. Oh wow! So I was just when I moved to LA, I was really focused on acting. Okay. And I didn't travel. Although, although you hadn't done it before. Um, I did. I, I, I took some classes, yes, in, in New York. Okay. Before I moved out here. Okay. Um, sorry, I, I realized I scooched over. Okay. So. Hey, hey stay on your mark, <laughs> Jaina. I know. I know. That's the technical part of me that I'm like, oh my. Um, but then. After I moved out here, I realized that pretty much all of my 20s, I didn't go anywhere. Oh, you know what's funny? I've been to 72 countries shooting my shows, Whoa. but I started doing that when I was 33. Before that, I had been to four countries. Wow. Not including like anywhere in the Caribbean, whatever. Wow. Canada, Mexico, Ireland, yeah. and England, and, yeah. that, and, and that was it. So let's talk about this, I'm trying to figure out how to bridge this. Um, something that you're not very good at, cannonballs. I was looking through your social media. It's out there for the public, so if it's something you didn't want to talk about, you should have removed it. <laughs> but it's like the act of the cannonball was 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 fine. It was it was it was it was good. It was fine. It was fine. It was good. <laughs> but then afterwards, should I go knees up? Yeah, and or then knees lean and then down? Lean, and then lean back. Back. I feel like however you did it, you 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 engulfed the maximum <laughs> amount of water that a person can take in before they start to cough. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's, what, that's happened. what happened. Was that does that work. really what happened? No, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I it's just she did a it, cannonball. I did a cannonball, and then it was like, oh, that was a good cannonball, and then it continues to like record as she's like coughing because of all the water. That was like the first cannonball I had done since I was a kid. So I, I like, would have expected know, again. I'm just trying. I'm trying to try it lightly, but as a as a professional dancer, <laughs> you know, I would have expected Great, you to have out. a little bit more finesse doing something like that. I I, I thought so too. Okay. <laughs> I really did. But you was, but but you acknowledged that how funny it was, which is why you put it up there. Yeah yeah yeah. I thought it, I good. you know I thought the I thought the the little droplets were had a cool effect. Here's the thing, oh, if you shit. can't learn to laugh at yourself, that is true. then everyone else is going to laugh it's at you. It's so true. I, I, I'm starting to like embrace that a little more, like not take myself so seriously but, because... I mean, just, would you say that Station 19 is like, I mean, it's a drama, but there's definitely light moments to it. Yes. I mean... A dramedy? Guy, that guy. Is it a dramedy? A dramedy, I think so. It's like a blend of, of drama. With, com with you know, sprinkled with some comedy. But it gets heavy. But it gets heavy. But then it also gets really light. Yes. And when they're just like, we need buffoonery. Call Shane Hartline. Can't call Shane Hartline. Get him on. Get him see if he's available. on here. Yes. 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 He can't do it. He's on Mandalorian. Yes. He's, he's actually on Obi-Wan. Yes. So, he gets so mad when I say Mandalorian. 
Well, he was one, on Rogue One. One cool thing about Shane Hartline is that one, he, yeah, what is the cool thing about him? I'm also, waiting. So, I mean, he's a multi-talented guy, obviously, super funny and sweet and talented and, uh, and, sweet. and all the things. Sweet, not a not a, not a talent. I know, right? You said Keep multi-talented, you like and then you didn't list any ta any <laughs> talent. You just um, listed attributes. Well, he's also producing a podcast that I'll be in. Yes, with, I heard about with that with Gabby Ortiz. Yes, I heard about this. His uh, fiance soon to be wife. Hey, yes. hey, hey! And it's called After We Wrap. I don't mean to plug it in, but you know. No, kinda, I want to talk about. I want to talk about it. What are you guys? What are you guys talking about in it? So, so Gabby and I are both actresses, mm -hmm. and we're both Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. and our last names are Ortiz. Mm -hmm. And After We Wrap is essentially the conversation of, you know, career, love, life, friendships, women, all all things, women. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you sound so not interested. <laughs> no, but, no, you know, anyway, no, I'm, you would definitely not no. be our audience, yeah. but, but I didn't say anything. it'll be, a, it's like a fun girl time, you know, chilling, I love girl time. Talking, you do? Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't, maybe we're Does describing he? different things, but, but <laughs> I, so I don't know what to All say. right. Steve Carell. Yeah. A little, a little Michael, 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 Scott, Michael Scott. Michael. Don't put that in there because I'm a huge fan. Michael. Gary Scott. Oh, really? Yeah, How do you know that? That's because I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't know that. But that Who's is your favorite character. Mm, well, in my opinion, and I think other people will agree with this, and I probably shouldn't say this, is that when Steve Carell left, a little bit of the magic was gone. Agree. Maybe I said that in, in a good. No, I agree. Way. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go on You're to. Good. Uh, You're a great host. Did you look at me, or do you look at the camera when you said that? You. Can you now look at the camera when you say that? You're a great host. Thank you. Thank you, Jana. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. I don't know what to say. No one's ever oh said that before. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> this is a six pack challenge. It's time for the six pack challenge. And what happens is, for every question you get correct, you get a $50 gift card to use in my apparel store. This is, for example, this is from my apparel store. Yeah, it's, I know. I know. Calm, I love it. I calm want down. It. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Great. More clothes. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, here we go. The answer to these okay. questions are either Jaina, Lee, or Ortiz. Okay. 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 Uh, this was a Hall of Fame mixed martial arts fighter. Ortiz. Ortiz. Tito oh. Ortiz. Yep. You got it right. Uh, Hong Kong, an American martial artist, actor, philanthropist. Lee. Lee, you're killing it. Hundred bucks like that. Yeah, I'm gonna win it all. <laughs> all, all the clothes. Uh, a Spanish wine grape. Well, think about it. What is it not? It's not. It's probably not Lee. Hmm. Yeah. It's <laughs> what's that? A Spanish, a Spanish wine grape. It's not Jaina. Jaina. It is. Yeah. Oh, what? It's a Spanish wine grape. Really? Yeah, I had to, I had to what? dig deep. Yes, exactly. What? Name. <laughs> yes. Can, you want to verify? That's crazy. No, 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 it's okay. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> she's like, no, okay, I, 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 gotta think, I got, I got some place to be, but uh, yeah, I believe you. Um, <laughs> named Big Poppy, this Dominican American played 20 seasons in the Major League Baseball. David Ortiz. David Ortiz. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this man supposedly assassinated John F. Kennedy. 35, 35th president of the United States. Lee. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lee Harvey Oswald, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. A follower of Jain Dharma, an Indian religion that traces its spiritual ideals, ideas and history through the succession of 24 Tirthankaras. Where are you looking, the, it's Jaina. Yeah. Where are you looking up the stuff, it's so crazy. Where am I finding this? Yeah. I just had to, well, first of all, you type in Jaina and just brings up you. Oh, <laughs> so I had to find see? other things. Because here's the thing. I didn't know. Here's the thing. I mm -hmm. at one point I had another guest on. His name was Josh Server, mm -hmm. and oh, I, I didn't know Josh. Yes. Josh Server. Yes. Yeah. And he is from Chicago, yes. and I started yes. looking up Chicago movie movie trivia. Uh huh. And then I was like, oh, let me write it about cars, and you know, like the car that they drove in Ferris Bueller right. or uh, um, uh, Risky Business. And he was like, these are the hardest questions I've ever been asked. And he got yeah. one of them right. So I was like, all right, I have to be 
I have to cur I have to make them more appropriate for the guests. And so yes. looking through your social media, I was like, I don't know what to write. I can write about oh London. Well, that was great, but just because though. you've been like to London that. doesn't mean you know a lot about London. Do you That's know about true. London? No. Where? Okay, we're gonna. I know like that this. you don't want to go. To, you don't want to go to London. Um, if you have, if you have during COVID. Christmas or the day if you have COVID and the day after. Why? Christmas, what happens? Because it's Boxing Day, and Boxing Day is like. It's like Black Friday for us. <laughs> and what happens? Oh, they just go shopping. Yeah. Oh, got it. In this, but everything is closed for the most part. Everything. Oh, closed. got it. <clears throat> In this um, this break. Where are you going? So you're are going? you going? Are you traveling? Um, I feel like you're going to. This break, I would love to travel. Yeah. I'm definitely traveling to Puerto Rico. Okay. Oh, this is Franklin. And then, he wants to say hi. So and this then, is Franklin. Oh, hi, Franklin! Oh. Let's come up for a oh, he's fluck. He's fluffy. Yes. Oh, my God. You're boring him. Really? He's, he's, he's liking this massage. Yeah. You know, I, I learned that if you massage your dogs, they live longer. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Shane so, said that if I massage him, mm. he'll work for me longer. <laughs> is that weird? That's a weird thing to say when you first meet somebody. That is. That okay. is very, very weird. So you're going to Puerto anyway, Rico? We're in Puerto Rico, yes. and then I would love to go to, the, the plan is to go to Crete and then straight into Italy. So you got bit by the Greece bug. I got, yes. You liked it there. Well, I there's so many islands yeah. in Greece, so I, want, I would like to visit. Santorini. Santorini. Stunning. Yep, stunning. Stunning. Uh, when you were there, where were you? I was I, I landed in Athens and then we went to um, uh, Santorini and then Naxos. Oh yes, yeah. and then Naxos is like it's not where the tourists go. A lot yeah. of locals live there, so you really feel like you know you're living. Oh, that wheel is terrible. Whatever, it's fine. So what you're doing is you're cutting that wheel. I'm cutting you're it. You're doing a good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, wow! Look at you. Yeah, I'm done. Yours is I'm done unless, unless I wanted to start doing any detail. I almost want I'm gonna, to mess it up. Uh, we're going to continue this podcast until you're done with that wheel. Okay, okay, okay. I'm which almost is, done. <laughs> which is fine. No, 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 no. It's great. So are you enjoying podcast life? Yes. How I about, have a question you? for you. Okay, go ahead. Any tips? Any tips you for have someone to get, who's... Yes, you have to get a very cool uh, like cover art. Because mm. yours is just your... Do you, know that, do you know that I made your cover art? Did you know that? You did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Why did Shane say that he did it? No, mm. I just assumed it takes that. I, I did a that professional. <laughs> That's, you did? Yeah. Did you design your own? Uh, yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so you are like an artist. I am an artist. You're an artist. I'm an actor. Art -tourist. When did you? Okay. I went, I went to, I was, uh, I showed Early promise when I was in. Early promise. When I was when I was like a kid, and then I did like art classes and stuff, and then I went to to college for it, and I was a wow. art major with a focus in oil painting. Oh my gosh! But that's the last time I ever oil painted. Here you go. Let me see you. I'll Final show you reveal. mine if you show me yours. That's what she said. She did. <laughs> she did say that. A perfect ending. Yes. Jana, thank you Love so much. Love it. Thank you so much, Zane.